We walked out of Hot Springs this morning and did a very steep climb um, next to the French Broad River. And today is gonna be a big elevation gain day for us. Um, there's a couple of pretty steep climbs and it's overcast. Uh, supposed to be until the afternoon and then we should be clearing up. So might get some rain, might not, not really sure. Um, but it's nice and cool out, which is nice for doing these climbs because if it was hot, I think I'd really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, how hyped are you for this huge climb we're about to do? <laughs> not hyped. Very not hyped. We found a salamander. Oh, he's so cute. He's probably got boys in here and he's like... Back me up. <laughs> Give him that little scoop. Yeah. Fine. Be gentle. <gasps> oh. Where'd he go? Under the leaf. Under the leaf. There he is. Oh, look how cute he is. He's little. Hi, little guy. He's actually pretty big. He's like average, right? Nah. And the salamanders in the upstate house are like a little bigger than this. Really? Yeah. He's gonna jump on me. Little buddy. Good job. Good scoop. Scoop. I can't see it. There it is. You can kind of see that there's another fire tower right there. I'm not sure which one that is. I haven't seen it on the map because I haven't checked. But yeah, there's another one right there. Today is going to be a fun day. Uh, <laughs> we woke up and uh, left camp and easy pitched the idea of doing 26 miles today. And why not? <laughs> so, uh, might be a little bit less videos from today because I have less time to dilly dally. But yeah, it'll be cool if we get it. So we'll see. I just got in a groove where I was like, I'm not stopping, I'm cruising, we're doing good. And I turned a corner and there was trail magic. And I was like, ooh, okay, I'll stop. Um, so I just sat down for a bit and I didn't mean to, but I did. But I only drank half a soda and I took the other half for the road. So I just don't want a night hike too long tonight. That's the only thing, like I know I can go the 26. It's just how much night hiking will I do? And I don't really want to do that much, so. But at least I can drink a Coke while I walk. <laughs> That's good. Okay. <laughs> View awesomes. Huh, weird. Uh, okay, so we are at the, well, I'm at the Exposed Ridgeline Trail versus Bad Weather Trail. And what that means is that this is officially 300 miles. This is where Gut Hook said 300 miles was. So, woo!
Okay, so that's that fire tower I had seen before. But look where we are now. They're probably the same girl, so. Yeah. Oh, older girl. Is setting and I am less than 0.1 from the shelter so 26 miles complete we started at 9 30 this morning and it's 7 45 right now so I'm not even night hiking which is the weirdest feeling in the world um, no headlamp tonight on a 26 mile day so yeah, this is my biggest day on the AT so far, and also hit mile 300 today. Um, so once again, I'm pretty pleased. Okay, so one freaky-ish thing about the trail, which I don't really understand, is there's been a lot of like tombstones and burial sites right on the trail. Um, the boy is this not one or is this one? No, I don't think it's one. Oh. It's just like a monument. Okay, this looks like one, but it's not. We've passed so many that these start to get freaky when we see them. Here's this one. It's apparently not a tombstone. What is it? Sam's Gap. So I guess we're here. Okay, so it turns out it is funny that I had just mentioned that that thing looked like a tombstone because we are currently uh, in a graveyard. Um, raking up leaves, if it scrolls down, yep, raking up leaves to earn our trail magic, which is being cooked right over there, we're getting eggs, but in order to get it we have to rake leaves in this cemetery. We were talking to the guy that was having us rake the leaves at the cemetery, and he's been doing this for nine years, and he said he sets up there because in North Carolina you're not allowed legally to do any type of trail magic or whatever that has a cooking grill because um, the county got sued back in the day I guess when they fed a bunch of people and people got sick and sued them so North Carolina is really strict about it and they'll write tickets and the police are kind of um, sticklers about that stuff but we are right on the Tennessee state line which you can see there's the Tennessee uh, border sign again right there but so we were right on the Tennessee state line and so I guess the family who has that graveyard um, it's all like the same family in the graveyard but the family who owns the property I guess hate the government and hate the state so they told the guy that's been doing trail magic for nine years just come set up here right on the other side of the line and then they can't keep giving you tickets so he was telling us about how the first two or three years they kept giving him tickets but now there's little red poles in the ground that mark exactly where the line is. So his truck can go to one of the red poles, but his stove can't go past one of the other ones. Um, there's this whole funny little system of getting around not being able to feed hikers. So it ended up being really funny and um, kind of nice that we could do a bit of raking and give back to that family who is making it possible for them to still do trail magic for us uh, on the other side of the border. So that ended up being really nice once we talked to him and got to know more about what was going on.
so this is the uh, top of Big Bald. Got some good views all around. And there's Easy streaming the Phillies game because it's opening day. We're getting our first view of the Nolichucky, Nolichucky? Nolichucky River uh, right there. And if you come over to here, you can see the town back there. Uh, that's Irwin. Right back there. And so, originally, um, we were just going to bounce in and out of Irwin to resupply food. But we thought it would take us four days to get here, and we have gotten here in three and a half days. So we are enjoying, well not yet, but we will be enjoying a unexpected Nero day um, for the remainder of today. Because it's only like 1 p.m. right now, and I've got like a mile and a half left. Um, so a whole half day just to be lazy, and I think um stay at uncle johnny's last night easy was saying that he thinks he's starting to get a little sick um so i might just stay at a hostel tonight and not sleep outside that way hopefully he doesn't get sick but we'll see big fish guy We no. are leaving Irwin uh, right now. Uh, you good? Sorry. <laughs> sorry, people in America. <laughs> I think Easy just choked on phlegm. Um, we're leaving, yeah, so we're leaving Irwin now and met up with Steams and Ski. Steams and. Why can't I say that? Steams and. That's why I can't. <laughs> Skins and Steamy. And we haven't seen them since the NOC. They are two retired doctors and we call them our trail parents. And we didn't know when we'd see them again, but they got ahead of us when we were doing our slow stretch into Fontana. Um, so we've been trying to catch them, and we did. And um, I'm not sure when we'll see them next, but we had a nice night with them. We went out to dinner, and then this morning, um, we saw another friend that we thought would be behind us for a little bit because they zeroed when we left. But it turns out they hiked out that night, so they're only going four miles when they leave today because they're just going to resupply quick and we might stay at that shelter too that way we can hang out with them um just because we're now really excited that we're seeing friends again so yeah it's been a good morning we've seen a lot of familiar faces and it's made us really happy